Hello and welcome to another video on Cymatic Trader. Uh, I'm going to have a look at the tick offset and stop loss features in this video and show you how to use those. So I'll, I'll choose a market. Um, I'm currently looking at the 1645 and that looks pretty good. We'll, we'll stick with that but if I wanted to choose another market I would just click the name of the market in the, in the navigator list on the left there. <coughs> So we're watching the 1645 and let's open a ladder for the favourites. You can see the price is going down. So supposing I'm going to back at, uh, at the moment I could, I'd probably look to put a back in at 4 and when that back gets matched, if it gets matched, the offset feature will automatically send a lay bet in at a lower price to make an automatic profit if the lay bet is not matched the stop loss feature will move the lay bet up to a higher price where it will get matched if our trigger price for the stop loss is hit so here I'm looking at a one tick offset so if I backed at four the lay would go in at 3.95 I've got a five tick stop loss so if the lay doesn't get matched at 3.95 it goes four ticks higher <coughs> Um, uh, sorry, five ticks higher than the original bet, which was at four. So if price moves up to one, two, three, four, if price moves up to 4.5, five ticks away from four, that lay bet that went in at 3.95 will jump up, jump up to 4.5 and try and get matched as a stop loss bet. The size of it doesn't change. The only thing that changes is changes is the price. Okay, so we can. We'll go into these other features in a little while, but let's do a basic overview first. With a, just a, just do a bit of what I've talked about so far. So I'm actually going to just increase the stakes a little bit, and we'll do this at 4.1 instead of four. And you can see there's my three pound bet. It's a uh, it's got 697, uh, six, <laughs> it's dropping so quickly. You can see how much it's got in front of it. It's this figure here, 319 pounds of money is waiting to get matched before we get matched. <clears throat> Our position in the queue is dropping, approaching zero, which is good. And there's still plenty of money behind us. So there's still a good 200 pounds of money behind us whilst we're getting closer to the front of the queue. We've got matched. There's our lay bet. At fours, it's gone in at three pounds and eight pence. Now price is moving against us. And our stop loss is represented in orange. So remember the first bet, the back went in at 4.1. Five ticks away from that is 4.6. That's our trigger price for the stop loss. So if this bet of three pounds and eight pence does not get matched at fours and price moves up to 4.6, so this front price here, if that moves up to 4.6, our lay bet will jump up to 4.6. Now there's a feature at the bottom, a setting at the bottom here called place at plus. I've got it set to zero on the stop loss. So what that means is when this bet gets moved to 4.6 we might actually want to be really aggressive and make sure that the stop loss gets matched if it's a really fast moving market we might be willing to send the stop loss in at 5 hoping that obviously it will get a price improvement and still get matched at the trigger price of 4.6 so if we wanted that 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 lay bet to jump all the way up to 5 when the trigger price of 4.6 is hit, we'd need to go one, two, three, four ticks on the place at plus setting. Uh, price is still hovering around where we entered. <coughs> now obviously the green setting pretty much speaks for itself we put a three pound back bet in and we got a three pounds and eight pence lay bet. 
that's going to give us a, a completely even spread of profit across all outcomes. If we didn't click the green then we would have had a three pound lay bet. And there we go, our, our offset bet got matched. And we've made 8p on all the other outcomes and 36p on this outcome. So it wasn't quite perfectly green. Let's green that up then to 15p, which we can either do here on the grid or here in the green 2 column or by clicking this big green button at the top or by clicking this green <laughs> bit here in the green 2. I think it must have been a rounding matter that caused us to not get a perfect greening. So let's just green that up to 15p. And now you can see all the outcomes. Whatever happens in this race we've made 15p which, didn't, which uh, didn't take much effort, did it? Let's put another one in and see if we get matched again or if we get stopped out. Well, we got matched instantly there. The lay bet came straight in, no delay on that, obviously. And the stop loss is there, stop loss trigger is there at 4.4 this time. With a bit of luck, or maybe a bit of bad luck, <laughs> the stop loss will get hit and you'll see what's going to happen. The £3.4p and 4p that we're laying at 3.9 will jump up to 4.4. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video while we wait to see the outcome of this. Well, it, it doesn't look like we're going to get stopped out. In fact, we've made another profit. So, and this one has greened itself up properly. There's no rounding error on that. So, um, sometimes that just happens. You can't get perfectly green. You can't get the exact right amount of pence in, but it's pretty close. So, this one's perfect. <clears throat> okay, so we're, we're not going to get stop lost out. <laughs> uh, we're too profitable today, but let's just quickly cover the other. Uh, other two settings. Partial. If you put uh, a bigger bet in, let's put say 10 quid in, and part of that gets matched, say 5 quid of it gets matched, then the opposing £5 offset will instantly get sent. If I don't tick partial, it will wait for the whole £10 to get, the whole 10 pounds to get matched before it sends any offset bet. Uh, trailing stop loss if I put a back bet in here at 3.9 and I have more ticks on my offset and my stop loss so let's say um, there we go let's put one in let's put the three quid in again now when this three quid gets matched and the offset bet comes in five ticks lower down here every time price moves in our favour the stop loss moves down with it. I haven't clicked trail so it won't do it there. Sorry I should have clicked tra trail first. Now price is moving down to us as well so so the stop loss would have been at 10 ticks away. If I just scroll up a bit you'll probably see where it is. There it is. So make a bit more space. So that stop loss would have been staying five ticks away from our entry price. So where we are now, we entered at 3.9, the stop loss was 10 ticks away at 4.8 and it would have come all the way down to about 4.3 now because price has gone in our favour. There we go. Let's just Green that up. OK, 
Okay, so that's the stop loss and the tick offset. We've made 68, 69p. Thanks for watching. Bye now.